So before we start this video off, I just want to say a huge shout out and thank you to all of you who have subscribed. We just recently surpassed 300,000 subscribers, which is a massive milestone. And again, a huge shout out to all of you. A thank you for allowing me to do this as my job. It is absolutely amazing and awesome. But that being said, we're going to jump into some less great news pertaining to Fallout 76. We got some more new details around the private servers. And even though this is basically going off of a Twitter exchange and it's fairly brief, what it actually says. I think is actually quite large. All this new info is from Pete Hines, and private servers, if you don't know, for Fallout 76 are expected to come after the initial release of the game, and private servers are going to be the way you can actually use mods in Fallout 76. Outside of the fact that they're going to exist and that they're going to feature mod support, we didn't know much else until today. So the first question that does arise is, can we actually play Fallout 76 offline? This has been phrased in different ways over the months since its reveal, and the answer continues to be no. When you connect to Fallout 76, you are connecting to a server from Bethesda and you're never going to be able to play on your own disconnected from the server like you can in even some of these other online focused games like Ark or Minecraft even. Of course, Minecraft started out as a single player, but nowadays I think most people probably play multiplayer in that game. We do find out though that you can actually play on a private server by yourself, although based off a lot of the interviews, it doesn't seem like that's actually going to be appealing because it seems like this game is built around the multiplayer component. Even though you will have the opportunity to explore the beauty of West Virginia all alone, if you actually want to play the game, interacting with other players seems to be one of the core components of it and it seemingly will be very lacking to play alone. And I don't want this to get confused, that doesn't mean you can't play solo, they have talked about how playing solo is very viable, but to literally be the only person on a server isn't super viable, at least that's what it seems like. And then some of the worst news we've gotten thus far, you will not be able to host your own private servers. The only way you can host private servers in Fault 76 is through Bethesda. So this actually means quite a few different things. First and foremost, obviously, okay, there's no private servers, but is that that big of a deal? If you look at games like Gary's Mod and even Minecraft, Minecraft, a massive component of their success was private server hosting. Because even at certain times when the game dwindled and the player base really shrunk, people still had private servers, little niche communities that you could connect with and enjoy the game years after its release or even final update. With Vault 76, since all these servers will be hosted by Bethesda, even these private servers, what that's going to mean is when Bethesda decides they're done with Vault 76, you will not be able to play the game anymore. Now in interviews, Bethesda has hypothetically said how the game may feel totally different five to ten years down the line. The lifespan of this game and the support from Bethesda could be very long lasting. But Fallout games and especially the modding communities around them always have kind of supported even older games for quite a while. Morrowind's a game that came out 16 years ago at this point. And if you actually look, there are still massive modding projects being worked on and even completed even today. Can we assume that Bethesda will continue to support Fallout 76 and pay for those private servers? even 16 years in the future. And even beyond that, if they one day decide they're done with Fallout 76 and want to move on to the next game, all the hours of custom content that is invariably going to get created for this game will suddenly become totally unplayable. Even beyond that, this kind of creates Bethesda as a gate guard as to how much we can customize our servers, since everything we want to do has to now go through them. They haven't talked about how strict or lenient they'll be with these private servers, how much functionality they're going to give us out of the box. But my concern is that whatever functionality they do give us is all the functionality we'll have because again there's no private servers hosted locally and somebody brings up what i think is a very valid question how will mods in a private server work then through bethesda.net p responds with why don't we just get through the launch first there's plenty of things we need to figure out post launch that quite honestly just aren't at the top of the list of things to do at the moment so this is total speculation but that response makes it seem like yes mods will be through bethesda.net but they don't want to announce it just yet. Same way they didn't announce it wasn't going to be on Steam initially, and it kind of took a little while for everyone to figure that out. Again, total speculation, maybe mods will still be on Nexus, but this is something I've been speculating for a few months now. But in addition, something else from this that kind of bums me out a bit more is behind the scenes, mods and private servers aren't a top priority, likely meaning there's not a ton of manpower going towards getting these things working, and it will likely be well after release when we actually get to experience these. I wouldn't expect it a month after release, but 
but maybe three to six months after release. Again, to be clear, that is total speculation, but just based off the way they've actually talked about these private servers, it really doesn't seem like they actually know how they're gonna work completely yet. Maybe they have a rough idea as to the functionality, but explicitly it isn't known. So both of those things do disappoint me. One question that arises from this is, are private servers going to cost money? If you look at Minecraft, they have this program called Minecraft Realms, where you can buy a server through Microsoft, but it's going to cost you money. It will function like a private server that you can do whatever you want with, and again, it's not free. I have to imagine Bethesda will do something differently. Again, we don't know a yes or no answer on that, but it definitely seems like it based on looking at the competition and how they've talked about private servers. Another question pertaining to this is how many people will you actually be able to have on your private server? Obviously, these public servers are going to have 24 to 32 players, but if I have my own private server, will it be different? It seems like the short answer is no. Pete Hines in a tweet said you'll be able to have a few dozen people, that being 36 people, which is pretty close to that 32 number we have heard many times in the past. And then there's kind of one extra thing I wanted to look at. Hey Pete, will cosmetic items have a rarity system to them or not, such as legendary skins and that? Thanks. He responds with, I don't think so. Rarity doesn't really apply since you're just buying them in the store. So this was quite perplexing to me and evidently some other people because even though yes, Fallout 76 will feature microtransactions in the form of cosmetics, one thing that we do know about them that has been mentioned is you can earn them for free in game. The way this typically works is the rarer items cost more money in real life dollars and are harder to get in game and some of the more common ones are cheaper both in game and in the shop. Yet from this tweet, Pete Hines makes it seem like there is no rarity factor there, which again, I just feel like it doesn't make a ton of sense based on how they've said the system is going to work. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Obviously not the best news. There wasn't like a ton of new details shared or anything like that, but from what they have shared, I feel like it definitely tells us a lot about private servers in Fallout 76, which is something that I know a lot of people have been wanting to know more about. Unfortunately, I don't think anybody will be happy with this news because I don't think it actually really helps or benefits anybody. As always, again, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Later.